Hello, Facebook, YouTube. Thursday morning. Uh, well, you know, uh, I'm just trying to, you know, see, the thing is, people, you know, have to realize one of the most important I discovered, and it's in Genesis uh, 6 and Genesis 6 talks about your uh, imaginations of your heart. One of the most critical, valuable situations of, I mean, critical, valuable places of you. I did a teaching on this, Mac Johnson reality. But, you know, I'm going to talk about, you know, the, I want you to question, uh, investigate yourself. I mean, how you doing? What, is cre what has created your imagination? You know what I'm saying? What, wh how was your imagination was created concerning, you know, the way you was raised, who you grew up around, you know, what influence have you been exposed to? You know, it's you know, it's kind of like self-evaluation, self-examination. You know, a lot of people's like trying to like, you know, be whatever kind of person that they are right now. They're trying to see what they can get out of the kind of person that they are right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I'm this is who I am. I'm going to see how far I'm going to go with, you know, the person that I am right now, how far can I go? And they think, you know, I mean, but you know, you're really taking a risk, you know? You're taking a serious risk concerning your life of not really evaluating as much as the kind of person that you are. And because the thing is, it's more likely how much potential of being the better person that you can is what people you know, supposed to be aiming and discovering about themselves how much a greater person that they can become, you know, is supposed to be the investigation of your life, you know, the number one investigation, you know. But, you know, everybody's trying to be better, you know. But the question is better at what? Better at doing good or better at doing bad? Mm. You know? Better at uh, being bitter or better at being better? You know, what is your desire? What is your desire set concerning what you, ha what have your imagination has, you know, showed you, revealed to you? What, what, what of this world influence, ha influence have revealed to you, you know, to make you come to it will make you now in shaping you the kind of person that you are right now you know and should you you know evaluate yourself to see if better can us be happen or could you just settle for the kind of person you are and continue living the mundane life you know of just you and that's it, you know? What if a million, what if the, a diamond inside you, what if there's a diamond inside you that can shine and help people see something that they didn't normally see that can help them see things better, you know? Or are you just gonna keep the coal inside there, the coal of darkness of not seeing what kind of person that potential chance that you can become, you know? is the quest supposed to be for every human being. But when they realize that you are created in the image and the likeness of God, the man, it's mandatory to find God's greatness inside you. It should be mandatory to see, wait a minute, wait a minute, what, what, what's this great? Where, where is this greatness at? Where, wait a minute, wait a minute, where, where is it? You know, I know it's there because I'm a creation of God. Okay, where is it? You know, should be the ideal quest that I believe that Satan don't want you on this quest you know 
this quest of finding this greatness. Wait, 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 what's it? What is it? Where is it? Where is it? How how can I perform this? You know? Maybe this can, you know, fill up the void that I'm trying to, you know, uh I'm feel discomfort in, you know. The thing is people I ask people, you know, you know, I used to talk to people that, you know, that, you know, smoke and drink and and it's like, you know, is this substance that you're doing is kind of, you know, easing you for only a moment, you know? Is that's what it, you know, is it that's what it's doing. They they understand that this substance is going to help me in my moment of where I'm at, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, they know that the substance is not fulfilling them, but they know that this substance can help them ease the moment of where they're at. But where are you? You know, the question is, where are you at? I mean, you know, are you at a place where, you know, things are getting better within you? Not so much what outside you, but within you, if things are getting better, you know what I'm saying? Or things are getting worse within you, because it's going to be all about what's within you. Like, you know, Gatorade says, is it in you? You know what I'm saying? Is it in you to achieve or in you to, you know, fail? What's in you will matter to to the course of your life that you're going to go through. And that's what people are not evaluating enough. Certain people are, but certain people are not evaluating enough to what, you know, kind of person they are and what potential of chance of being a great or righteous person that they can become made in the image and likeness of God. They think that, you know, wickedness is the only standard of their position because they're not going to more likely dig for the treasure of, you know, that Jesus said that you're created in the image and likeness of God. And if God is it, you know, created you, there's some greatness there. You know, there's something great there, but how, how are we going to how is that going to be manifested? But how it's going to be manifested is based upon your imagination. How you're willing to expand, you know, your heart and expand your imagination to find out what it is. And, you know, and you're, what you're willing to go through to become that person that, that become what God has created you to be. You know, it's uh, supposed to be the quest of every human being. But Satan got this world, you know, got y'all going to and fro, you know, to work, to school, to here, to there, to this, to this appointment, to that, that you don't really evaluate <clears throat> what kind of person that you really are, that you can't go out and discover, you know, maybe you're made for something more much made you live the made for so much more like you know switchfoot i love that song you know and the thing is it's is but it's important that you discover because people everybody else that is made in the image and the likeness of god needs to you know uh, discover that maybe i'm made for so much more than this but your imagination that satan wants to keep suppressed is going to say, nah, 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 just keep doing what you're doing, just keep doing what you're doing, just keep doing what you're doing, and remain empty, and remain dissatisfied, and because you're, and you know, because you are dissatisfied, you know, this, this, you know, smoking and drinking will ease that dissatisfaction, you know, uh, uh, again and again, time after time, and you know, it will, make you feel more comfortable in your dissatisfaction and that's what it really is that's crying out inside of people that people don't realize like I tell people about Alba you know what I'm saying people don't realize that Alba is crying out you know what I'm saying but the thing is people feel like you know they have to suppress that Alba father you know they're trying to suppress it and say nah let me stay average nah let me stay mediocre now nah, let me follow the world system and, you know, and feel comfortable, you know, and following it. And 
And, and, but the ABBA is going to keep aggravating you because, and what people try to do, like I said, they try to, you know, use drugs, whatever, smoking, drinking, whatever, to suppress that ABBA. But that ABBA is going to still cry out. It's going to keep crying out until you, you know, hear it. You know what I'm saying? And until you respond to it. Because guess what? You are made in the image and likeness of God. You, you can't shut your ABBA up. Because as much as you're living that you don't realize, it's going to keep crying out. But you can put all, do all the wickedness in the world to ease, to satisfy, to ease, calm down that, you know, ABBA cry out of your heart. It's going to keep crying out. You know what I'm saying? You want to be mad and frustrated. Why can't I, I answer this cry? You know what I'm saying? I mean, why, why can't I shut this baby up? Why can't I? Because that's just a baby that is what's inside of us that God created on the bottom of our heart. It's crying out, Abba Father, I, I need you. I need my creator. But the world saying, ah, oh, that ain't that. It's just that this person made you mad. It's, it's pointing out everybody else and it's, you know, telling you that, oh, it's this substance, you know, doing this. No, it's it's something else. It's something else. The world going to keep telling you it's something else. It's something else. It's something else. No, it's Albert. It's that Albert father that's crying out. You know what I'm saying? That I need, you know, the old. I need thee. It's in every human being. But they try to, you, you, you know, Satan got all these many, that's what Babylon means, many, you know, things you know, to, you know, try to, you know, try to ease the, you know, that Abba Father, try to shut it up. It's trying to shut it up with, oh, get, get it caught up in this, get caught up in this religion, get caught up this uh, re bad relationship, get caught up in this, you know, bad things in this world, get caught up in movies, get caught up in, sh you know, of the things of the world. So, you know, and let the things of the world keep trying to satisfy you. But Abba Father, the cry is still going to cry out. You know what I'm saying? That people don't recognize and don't realize that it's in everybody. And then everybody's trying to suppress it. That's way Satan's going to try to teach you to suppress that cry with the things of this world. But it's not, I hope it don't work. You know, it's not going to work. The things of the world is going to keep agger, keep crying, keep crying for answers, keep crying for, you know, meaning, meaning in life, because, come on, the, uh, darkness is all about doing things meaningless, and you know that you're doing something meaningless, anything, doing something temporal is something meaningless, you know what I'm saying, it's like working a temporal job, you know what I'm saying, you know, if you work the job and then you're out, I mean, you don't get, you know, you, people will prefer to work a full-time job, that get, you know, you get benefits, you get, you know, Medicare, you know, you can get, you know, help, you know, get all the things that you need to live a central life. You know that a full-time job is more better for you than a temporal job. And a full-time job, you get money every day working, you know. But a temporal job, you, you know, just get it for the moment. You know what I'm saying? You know about that. But guess what? You know, you need a full-time guy. You need a full-time father you need a full-time lover you need your full-time creator to give you fulfill you to become the person that you are created to be but satan is going to throw these temporal stuff temporal things at you and it's yeah yeah it feels yeah it's all right it's all right it's it's it's, it's good it's, it's it's all right you know but it's not that but that's not what you're created for you're created for something Full, to fulfill you and to satisfy the whole being inside you. That's what you are created for. And you got to realize in your imagination and, and allowing the spirit to come into your heart and your imaginations to help you believe in that reality instead of, you know, believing in the false reality that this earth is going to find, going to keep, you know, satisfying you. No, it's going to keep making you empty and empty and empty because it's that's what the world is. I tell you, the earth ingredients is, you know, without form, without void, empty, you know, in darkness. That's the Genesis 1, 2, you know what I'm saying? So you need to understand that 
Only the Spirit can fill you. You know what I'm saying? Because the Spirit of the Lord came on the face of the deep and made the world fulfilled. That's the message. I hope you get it. Hope you get fulfilled. To God be glory here forever. Just amen.